the past 20 years, fire has been used by local authorities at the Mount Iglit Bako Natural Park to clear the tall grasses in preparation for the annual Tamarau population count which gives the official population estimate of Tamarau still alive today. Although effective in clearing the tall grass that hide the tamarau and attracting them into the open to feed on new sprouts of grass, the impact of the burning has taken its toll on the natural landscape and other species, especially those that do not or cannot escape and therefore perish in the fire. In 2018, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources of the Philippines, together with other local stakeholders, international partners, and the Doubleville Foundation and Demofarm Inc., held several workshops that formulated a 10-year conservation management plan for the park. One of the priority recommendations is to stop the use of fire inside the Tamara Count Zone. With this, the Doubleville Foundation, through collaboration with its international partners and scientific experts, have formulated a new methodology for measuring the abundance of tamarau without needing to burn the area. What we're doing right now in partnership with the Abuville Foundation is to come up with other census methodologies because by 2025, no burning will be done anymore. And by that time, the current counting method would be obsolete. By phasing out the grassland burning, we are also changing the conditions in monitoring tamarau and we won't be able to do any more methods that use actual sighting. Kasi po pag traditional point count po ang ginawa tapos tinigil po ang pagsusunog, mahirapan po magbilang tap kasi sa kapal ng mga damo, hindi po natin mabibilang ng maayos ang mga hayop. One of the methods we are proposing and testing right now is the use of distance sampling for duns with transect to deliver, instead of a number of animals, an indicator of abundance. That's why before we totally phase out the use of grassland burning, we have to build a baseline data with the most accurate number of tamaro, and by that, we will be able to build the conversion factors between dungs and tamaro. And on that purpose, we are using the annual count combined with a double observer method, which instead of using only one potter observer, we use two, correcting the problem of double counting and animal not seen. The new census method that we are um, we are uh, suggesting to the NRA is the transect. A transect is basically a straight line. In our case, it's 500 meters. For the statistical analysis, we need to know the perpendicular distance between the transect and the dunk that we are recording. To decide where the transects are going to be, we use a statistical programs that randomly dispatch the transects in the same study area for the point counts. Then we have to build a team. So the team composition, basically, we need a trail opener. Then we have the spotters from the front team that are looking for the dunks. Then we have the data recorders. One is in charge of the GPS. The second member is carrying the data sheet and taking all the data that we want to gather. And the third one is carrying also a machine tape. Then at the back, we have another team of spotters called uh, back team. The main purpose of this team is to record the dunks that the first team miss. This, at the end, help us to define what is the detectability rate. How many dunks are we missing from the total dunks that we have in the area? Ang advantage niya na nakikita ko, nabibilang yung nakatagong hayop. Kasi po sa traditional point count is, yung kung ano lang yung nakalabas, yun lang nakikita mo. Ay sa transect, tayo po ang tinitignan. So makikita at makikita po lahat sila. This methodology allows us to survey different kind of habitats, from forest to grassland. It's a simple but effective methodology that once it's, uh, it's developed and start uh, implementing, the management of the park can easily conduct it themselves. We are very thankful to our partners, especially with the Avobil Foundation, because they have been for years our NGO partner in doing research works and studies with Tamaro in its habitat in Mount Siglit Bako Natural Park. They have been here for more than 10 years now, and if not with the Avobil Foundation, we will not be able to come up with good management strategies for the protection and conservation of Tamaro in its habitat in Mount Siglit Bako Natural Park. By developing this alternative census method, uh, we have been invited by the DNR to try to identify other monitoring methods that could be applied in other Tamaro sites in Mindoro. This will be our main focus and activity in the next two years.